Why is your laptop being bad? Val, you might have just saved me. Let me try this out. Oh god, there's something in here. Oh! Try going down here. Yay, Bell! I'm gonna try going this way and seeing if I can get into. Why didn't I think of that way? I was looking at all the possibilities to get in there, and that didn't pop out at me. Try going to the stained corridor. This way? If I knew I could hear the singing from here. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, little girl. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Oh gosh. Oh no, you're not going to make me crawl again, are you? Oh gosh. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh! No! You can't scare me this time! Uh-uh! Got you. What a jerk. Oh, it's already getting hot. You can buy an, um, well, I mean, that's at your expense, of course. You'd have to decide. But there are, um, external laptop fans you can buy. I had one for mine because mine would overheat anyways. Or at least you can buy them here. We don't exactly live on the same continent, but, you know. By the way, Cardius, that hello was for you. I don't know if you knew, but it was. Finally! Purity stone red. Blue diary. My mother told me that I have an older brother. His name is Kaname, and he lives in a house on the outside. In the Kuze house, they throw away boys, so he was sent outside. She told me many times that this was a secret. My brother has the same earring as my mother. They're beautiful earrings that she got from father. Mother gave it to him so that no matter where he is, he can hear her voice. I wonder if he can hear my voice, too. I want to see him. Reika was made into a priestess. I help take care of the priestess. She tells me about the outside. She says when she talks, the pain isn't as bad. I'm glad that I can be of some help. The priestess has an earring just like Mother's. She says it was a present from a good friend so that she can hear his voice no matter where she is. I think that friend is Kaname. The priestess talks about him a lot. The priestess seems kind of lonely. Whoa, that's trippy. So... So wait, uh, Kyoka's son... Her forbidden son... Oh. I can't go that way? Oh wait, what was that? Yay! Yeah, an external fan. I was gonna say, so Kyoka had Kaname with a man who had to leave the village. Oh god! Not the most ideal place to be fighting children. No! No! Nope! I didn't get her. Oh god! I 
missed her. Or oh, yep, yeah, I missed her. Got you. So Kyoka had a kid with a guy who had to leave the village. Um, trust me, this isn't your most hated yet, I don't think. Um, finally, I can get in here and leave. How do I get out of here again? Um, how to get out? Oh, there. Um... So then she had Kaname, and she had to send him outside of the village. And then Kaname grows up, and him and Reika fall in love? That's interesting. I think. That's what I gathered. From that letter. Okay, great. Now I can go this way. Oh gosh. It does sound pretty terrible. But it's not the worst part. I got you this time. Okay, thank you for the points. See you later. Pardon? I just left. <laughs> I gotta solve the puzzle. Beneath the pedestal, ancient script is engraved. Obtain the four purity stones by the handmaiden's song. Subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. What? Manipulate this ped pedestal thing. Um. No, that's not right. Um. Yes. That's correct. If the priestess wakes from her dream, nope. A lovely song. Suffering unleashed on all. Oh boy. We did it, Miku. I think I gotta go back to the flickering room. Oh yes. Pardon? Kaname snuck in with the people who came to ease their pains. He said he wants to see the priestess just once. It is against the code, but as she is going to have to perform the rite of commandment soon, she won't be able to leave again. I want to help them meet just once. 
Kaname went into the shrine, to the priestess's place. Men cannot go into the shrine. I'm sure the mistress will be upset. Oh! Is it the arm person? Oh! You're the one that throws arms at me, aren't you? You're a jerk. Yeah, it is you. Close the chamber of your mouth. <laughs> no. Wait, they're not gonna... Is the dream over? Oh. I think that's where I have to go, though, is the flickering room, and then... I love Miku too. Miku's amazing. Miku's dream again. And we got some film. It's nighttime still. Is it ever going to be daytime ever again? Please. <laughs> Please. Shrine Maiden Girl. The girls dressed as shrine maidens who tried to impale me in the daydream I had inside the deserted house. Are they constantly impaling dolls in those small red rooms dotted around the manor? Sorry, dotted round. What about Amane, the name they kept repeating? Could that be the girl who was begging for help? The men in ragged white robes and tall court hats. In the photo where the, where the man holding a hatchet and hiding his face appeared, they were standing in line as though for a commemorative photo. They were holding carpentry tools. Maybe they had something to do with building the house. And then after... Locations. The hanging prison. In the room with the hanging prison was an altar where a human skin hung, covered in a tattoo. Before the altar was, was a pedestal with four round objects on it, inscribed with writing. Obtain the four. Yeah, we read that already. Is this connected to the hanging prison? Is there a shrine maiden inside there? Most likely. The ceremony room. In the room I looked into from the roof, sacks shaped like people were hanging. On the floor by an altar was a big red-black bloodstain. Red-black. What purpose could this room serve? Why is Ray having a dream of Miku and... I don't know. Why are they sharing dreams? Maybe we'll learn. Xander! Human Columns. The old book tells how a family named Moria, marked by the tattoo, killed the shrine carpenters after they had built the manor, then ended by making themselves into taboo pillars or sacrificial pillars. All except one, the new master builder. It was Bob. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Yes, per mayhaps. That's how the song goes, right? I'm gonna save, um... Excuse me. I'm gonna change their costumes. And then I'll keep playing. So just, uh, there we go. Return. Let's go change some costumes. I almost clicked new game. That was close. I don't know. Ray seems to have been, though. Ray seems to have been the first one touched by the dreams. Um, touched by the dreams, you know. So, uh, touched by Reka, you know, so I don't know if that has an effect or. And Ray is the main character of the game, so she would see everything. Suit. Should we glasses or headband? What is headband, though? I don't know what that is. Glasses, maybe? Zero costume. I actually like this thing she's got in her hair, so I'm going to keep that on. Ray can have a... Ray. I mean, K can have a... Nope. Ray, you're wearing glasses now? Nothing in there. I'm, like, scared to explore this house now, because things keep happening. And it's nighttime still. And I gotta go 